With colorful puppets, catchy songs, and mini vocab lessons, you might think this is an episode of Sesame Street turned into full-blown musical. But be warned, these lessons aren't for kids. Avenue Q is a story about Princeton, a recent college graduate who moves to New York to find his purpose. Join him along his journey of self-discovery, love, and heartbreak, and you'll meet some slightly inappropriate but very genuine friends along the way. Today I'm here at the Arts Club Theatre on Granville Island to chat with some of the colorful characters and the very talented humans who bring them to life. So you guys were both in the show last year. Why do you think it's been so successful and it's coming back for another season? Uh, I think it's a really relatable story. A lot of people can uh, relate directly to Princeton, who's the main character trying to find his purpose in life. Um, it's really funny. It's just sort of like in your face <laughs> funny um, and unapologetically funny. And I think that's kind of a nice release for people to come and check that out. It's unusual and not the sort of thing that you see every day. And so also because it's for adults, I think, uh, a lot of audience members might be familiar with growing up with uh, Sesame Street or all sorts of puppet stuff when you're growing up as a kid and, and then you dress up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You don't expect to see it as an adult and it's very adult humor so it's it's kind of a weird thing to experience. And how do you feel about being back for a second season? Oh well it's quite tiring doing it two years in a row with my age but um, so so good to be back yes. Saw the show last night. You were fantastic. Of course I was, dear. Thank you very much. <laughs> She's modest too. Oh yes, yes. Um, so tell me a little bit more about your character. Who do you play in the show? I play Gary Coleman, former child celebrity, uh, <laughs> turned bitter landlord of Avenue Q as per his uh, life path, um, and he just sort of runs things on this dilapidated street in New York City, and uh, it's very funny that, mm -hmm. given his former celebrity, this is where he has ended up. <laughs> How about your involvement? What characters do you play in the show? Uh, I get to uh, have my hand in a lot of stuff <laughs> on this show. Um, I play Mrs. Thistletwat. Huh? Yes, I do. Um, and one of the Bad Idea Bears, which is one of my favorite characters. And then um, I, I am the right hand of uh, Trekkie Monster and Nikki. Uh, work with uh, Nick Fontaine, and uh, we. Um, we've been practicing to get in sync so that we can perform one mind, even though there's two of us attached to them. Um, and then I'm also, uh, I, I do the mouth of Kate and Princeton and Rod as well, while the uh, people who play those characters uh, do the words. So we've also worked on syncing that up as well. Uh, so how much coordination does this and practice does this all take? It takes a lot of coordination and practice. Um, I, like I said, I'm surprised that I manage it because I'm the one that trips up the stairs. Alright, well if you could describe the show in one word, what would it be? <laughs> I, I would say um, it's honest. Good one. Um, uh, 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 oh, good God. I, c I can't think right now. Stop drinking so much. Oh, what is shh, wrong with you? Darling. So I'm going to try my hand at some puppeteering. <laughs> So I'm gonna I'm gonna let you have Yellow Bear. Okay. She's one of the characters that I that I use, and and it's as simple as it looks. You just put your hand in through okay. up to the head, and then she's got rods attached to her arms. So you'll just grab the two rods to operate her hands. Hey, you can hang yourself. <laughs> Great. Try one of the yays too. Yay! <laughs> so tell me a little bit more about your role in the show. My role in the show. Um, Basically, I dress a lot of puppets, so if you see Lucy exit on one side of the stage, um, either myself or Brett is running the puppet to the next side of the stage and dressing it as we go, and then we'll pass it off to the next person. That's awesome. So Selena, tell me a little bit more about your character. Um, Christmas Eve is the token Asian, I guess, with all... <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Childhood back to life, I guess, and um, yeah, it's just pretty much the stereotype of everything that I knew growing up. So how did you prepare for the role? What inspiration did you draw from? 
Um, I guess I just looked at all of my friends and um, their parents and my mom and my dad and sort of how I was raised. So that's sort of the Asian in the nutshell, right? I guess a lot of people come into this thinking they're going to see their average typical Broadway musical. What? How would you describe this musical in one word? Why is it different? Go ahead, you go first. Uh, one word. Um, racist puppet porn? <laughs> Three words? Yeah. Excellent. I, I'm going to second that notion, racist puppet porn. The internet is for porn. The internet is for porn. Me up all night. Porn. 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 All right, so I'm still a little star puppet struck. I can't believe I just got to meet them all. I saw the show last season. I saw it last night, and I definitely will be back at least a couple more times this season. Now playing through January. For more information on tickets and show times, please visit their website at artsclub.com. For City Lights on Novus TV, I'm Christina Mang.